broke me off. Okay, that was a dozen mullet. And I believe that was a shark. Because there ain't no way, no way a red bass is going to do that right there. I've caught, that's a, uh, what, 50 pound mason hard type nylon. And we've caught 140 pound tarpon on it before. So that's my last mullet. I don't know when you're putting mullet and stuff down the bottom of this river sometimes and you get these absolute blistering attacks that that ain't a shark right there. So, okay, well that was my morning. A dozen mullet eaten off the hooks and not one redfish in this river. Alrighty, so time to go in. redfish, them big redfish, but let's call a spade a spade here. I think that's, that's the, what's that, that's the term, right? It's a known fact that up in Fernandina, in the St. Mary's River, in between the jetties, up past the jetties heading into Fernandina. There is giant sharks in that part of the St. Mary's. And I don't know what happened to them, but they were caught consistently by a guy named Rudy. Or Captain Rude, he called himself. I'm sitting there up in the river as I always do and it happens all the time is you got a bait out and no sooner no sooner everything gets perfect you just get completely popped off okay and we all know that's not, that's not redfish doing that. It's not stingrays doing that. It's not bluefish doing that. There is sharks all the way up past the little jetties, no problem. I mean, many times, Many times uh, I've heard all these wives' tales, stories. Oh, come up and eat my redfish. Well, I've never had one come up and eat my redfish, but I've had them eat and break tackle. Eat, eat my bait and break the tackle like it's no problem. All the rigs. So, when it boils down to it, really, no one around here in Mayport that I know of is targeting or prepping themselves for those sharks. I mean, they're at the jetties, mostly at the jetties, black tip spinners. I don't know what it is there, but I'd assume pretty much the same. Captain Brood, he's caught some bulls, stuff like that. Talked to a friend of mine, uh, Mark, at the boat ramp. Said the same thing to him, and he goes, well, yeah, I mean, you know. He says, they're up in Fernandina, too. 
He said, if they're up in Fernandina in between the jetties and up in the river part, then they're here. Why wouldn't they be? And that's what I've always thought. So you know what? From now on, I'm bringing some really big tackle. I'm bringing the big rod. The big rod or at least the black tip rods. And the only way you're ever going to get them, I guess, I mean, really, you got to put a bite leader on there. I mean, even if your bite leader is this big. But I don't like going to too much steel because they seem to shy away from it. But you got to put a bite leader on. Because they're just, you hook them, they just rip everything right off. So, I'm going out tomorrow. And if we end up doing what anything like I did today, if we end up doing anything like I did today, um, I'm going to put a bite leader on and we're going to use some big ass tackle. Because at the end of the day, nobody says, what Ron Real did you catch him on? Nobody cares. What it boils down to is you got his ass to the boat. So, I'm wanting to get his ass to the boat. I'm tired and tired of getting bit off constantly. Hell, screw it, damn redfish. You can't keep them anyhow. I don't keep the sharks. What's the difference? Plus, the sharks are going to hand you your ass on a silver platter.